You're natural, you're picking it up already. Sounds pretty cool. Oh, hello there. Welcome to my drum shop. How are you today? Good. How can I help you? Oh, you've come to check out a steel tongue drum. How exciting. Yes, they are absolutely beautiful instruments. And you'd like a lesson, too. Ah. Oh, I'd be happy. I'd be so happy to help you out with that. Yeah. So, I have several different steel tongue drums for you to check out today. I'd like to show you this one first. This is called a Rav Vast. And, as you can see, it's almost a deep blue color. Shades of green in here as well. And it's made from stainless steel. They weld it together. And they put this nice rubber rim around it. And then they carve these little slits into it. And they're all different sizes and different placements throughout the drum. And that's why it's called a steel tongue drum. Because these little slits that they carve in there kind of look like tongues. <laughs> and if we look on the opposite side here, you can see a wooden base. It makes all kinds of incredible sounds. And the reason for the different placements and the different sizes is because they're all tuned just a little bit differently, depending on where you uh, hit them. So if we go over the scale here, it sounds something like this. really carry for a long time, which is 
very nice. You can just hit a note and it goes on for forever. <laughs> yeah, so. This drum was made in Russia by an amazing team called RAV Labs. This is the RAV Fast 2. And it is truly an incredible instrument. This is one of the bigger steel tongue drums out there. Normally they are a little bit smaller, but I really enjoy this one. It sits on your lap very well. And it uh, resonates pretty great. When you hit the notes and you're playing it on your lap, the sound waves just kind of come up and sweep across you and it just relaxes you as you play. There's a lot of different ways that you can play this and different ways to tap it or hit it. The common way that I first was told how to play is to use the bone right on the outside of your thumbs, right there. You just want to hit it on that bone in a nice little slapping motion, like that. Just like that. Just nice and gentle. Another way that you can play this drum is to hit it right at the bend of your fingertips, right at that first top crease. And you can really hit it with whatever fingers you feel comfortable with, depending on where your hands are at, at a particular striking position or so. So, so, like this, like this, we use our middle finger, you can even use your ring fingers, hear or start to hear melodies come out of these little slaps. Besides these notes, you can also play with other areas on this drum. The solid areas here, for instance. It's a little duller, but if you hit it with your knuckles, It adds a little bit of a cool sound too. So something like. Also use your index fingers where we showed earlier where to hit or your middle fingers and you just want to hit the end of this crease down here so just 
just like that. And if we mix it all together, you can create magic. Something like... something incredibly relaxing. So, would you like to give it a shot? Would you like to learn how to play? Play around a little bit? Yeah? All right. Why don't you just start with some of these notes up here? And see just how well you enjoy it. See what comes to your mind. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy, okay? I'm playing it. Yeah. Got it. Hmm. Very good you always want to make sure that you do after you're finished playing is you want to clean the drum because the oils from your hand can damage it and we want to make sure that the drum has a very long life so that you can continue to play it and help yourself and help others relax for as long as possible so how I like to clean this is I was recommended this paste, uh, it's called frog lube. Just something like that. 
And you want to take um, paper cloth. Um, if you use paper, you want to be very gentle with it. Um, microfiber is even better. But you just want to rub it in circular motions like this. Make sure you get every area. And that's how you can always clean your trunk. You can find uh, this stuff, Frog Loop, both in here, in this shop, and on Amazon. And I think it sounds pretty cool as well. I very much hope that you enjoyed this rav fast steel tongue drum tutorial. I hope you had fun learning how to play and learning a little bit about this instrument. I'll see you next time.